Hello, it's Bill with Colorado 4x4 Van out here at Van Headquarters. Um, haven't had a chance to work on the van again, but yes, earlier this week on Craigslist something came up that I just had to have. And it's my, right now what I'm calling the Caboose Project. And it's a, it's a late 70s van that was made into a trailer in 1991 and just put a truck topper on top for a high top but it's fairly similar to what I've got once it's painted forgive the orange I God only knows why he would paint it that color but at any rate it's got a solid axle under it uh, body's in really good shape um, pulls nice I pulled it from Denver up here so it's wired for uh, interior lights, batteries there, uh, it's a place for a propane tank there which I'll probably change to two, two before I'm done but got an exterior light up there these peony wheels and tires which won't stay on there got running lights the tail lights match my van so that's what drew me to it originally. It's like, well, it's pretty close, but you can tell from the Chevy emblem there that it's uh, probably a late 70s van is what it was. It's got a crank out window up here. And the interior, he has put some wood and insulated it, but yeah, I'll redo all that. Has a table. That's, pro that's probably going to go. But... He put new carpet in it. That's all gonna go, <laughs> unfortunately. A lot of it'll be redone, but it's kind of—it's a brand new uh, truck topper, which is nice. Sealed the back door on it, so um, it's all rhino lined. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I'm, I'll have to do something else. But anyway, the the long-term plan is in the back there. Um, want to put a bathroom with the shower and a toilet and maybe a little cleanup sink next to that on that back side and then a little bit of storage on the front side here but uh, mainly the back part will be a, a place for the hounds to ride along and to sleep at night and um, I'll probably get a couple of windows for the sides um, each side so it'll be kind of like the pickup where they can stick their heads out while they're riding along and then they can sleep in here when they're done so we'll have a we'll have what the uh, van doesn't have now which is a, a nice shower and a toilet just a place to get cleaned up I'll probably build a box here that will hold my hot water heater and um, water pump and some other things will go there and then I'll have my other stuff here I'm gonna I'm going to tie in a uh, wire to charge this and I think I'm just gonna use my old um, my, my back bumper I've got this is the new trailers whites this is an old one that's just in the bumper but I did save the wire so I'm thinking I'll use that as a place to plug in the trailer so that my solar panels and everything can charge that battery. And then I'll have two batteries um, hooked up instead of one like I have now. Um, probably eventually, I already discussed it with the boss and um, looks like we'll lift it to match the van which will probably mean changing the hitch, welding it down to make it level when it's pulling um, and then paint it. I'll epoxy the top white just like I did with the van and we'll paint the body the same same color as the uh, as the van same wheels, tires and uh, it'll totally match up. It's only about I'm trying to figure where Feels like it's about half of a van, but I, I don't know for certain. 
I imagine once I start sanding off some of this rhino lining, I'll find out where they added stuff. But it's solid. There's no rust issues on it at all. And uh, I said it was made into a trailer in 1991, but um, it's in really good shape. So that'll be the next long-term project, although it's, it's going to come after the current projects. So this may take a year or two to get done, but you don't see uh, these come around very often. And I'd really, I joked about, I should have kept the parts van and done this to it, but boy, it's such a lot of work to build a trailer out of a van. Cut it in half and make that sheet metal match and then weld the trailer in. And then you have to get it inspected so you can have it titled and, and all that. And this is all, all that's already been done on this one. So um, since the taillights matched, um, it does have this extra body line, like I described on my, the doors I got rid of on my van, but I don't think that's going to be that noticeable on uh, when I'm just using it as a trailer. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, it's going to be take some creativity to make it make it right, but I think it's going to be a great addition once it's all done. And then if we go on an extended road trip or something, we'll have. Uh, We'll have our own facilities. We won't have to worry about trying to find a bathroom or trying to find someone to watch the hounds. They can come with us, and so that's that's the idea behind it, anyway. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Meanwhile, it's a beautiful fall here in Colorado. We haven't the average uh, freeze is October 7th, but we haven't even got close to that yet. But it is shorter days and chillier. But um, the cottonwoods are all turning, and we haven't had huge windstorms to blow them all off or anything. So it's been a beautiful fall, one of the best falls I can remember in a long time. So enjoying that, uh, leave for hunting this week, and after that, maybe we'll get some more projects done, but running out of time here. <laughs> anyway, until next time.